Hello, kings and queens, back with another video. Uh, it seems that um, a search team was searching a Mississippi courthouse basement for evidence about a lynching of a black teenager. Emmett Till has been found, has found an unserved, unserved warrant charging a white woman in the 1955 kidnapping and relatives of the victim want adult authorities to finally arrest her after 70 years. We all know what happened to Emmett Till. He was a Chicago teen who went to Mississippi to visit family. The warrant for the arrest of Carolyn Bryant Dunham, identified as Miss Carolyn Bryant, on the docket was discovered last week by the searchers in a file folder. Uh, documents are kept inside boxes by decades, he said, but there was nothing else to indicate whether the warrant dated August 29, 1955 might have been served. Okay, um, Brian and her husband own a store in Money, Mississippi, and, you know, blacks are going there and buy. Back in them days, it was real racist. That's the warrant right there that they found. Uh, his, uh, Emmett's family want her arrested. They do. His cousins, Deborah Watts, she's the head of the foundation of the Emmett Till Legacy, Legacy Foundation, and her daughter, Terry Watts. They want the authorities to arrest her. They do because he, Emmett was tortured, beaten real bad, and thrown in the river. He was unrecognizable where his mother had an open casket because she wanted the world to see. Over there in Mississippi, they wanted, they wanted him in the ground immediately, but it didn't happen. She wants, she had open casket. She wanted the world to see what they did to her son. Carolyn supposedly is living in North Carolina now, but um, her husband at that time, he died in 19... When did he die? No, yeah, 1994, September 1994. He had cancer, and his brother, J.W. W. Mallon, had cancer, too. Both of them had um, cancer. He died in 1980. So my thoughts on this, I don't think that they're going to do nothing. They're not, but we just have to see. We just have to, we just going to have to see. She do need to be, she do need to be arrested, like I say, they looking at the fact that her age, I'm looking at it like, who cares if she's 80 years old? Because Emmett was 14 years old, beaten and tortured and killed. His age didn't matter to them. Neither sure her should matter now. You know, we need, the family do need justice. I hate that Mamie Till, his mother, is no longer here. Um, She she passed. This photo right here is after the verdict and how they was laughing and all that like it was funny. They had no remorse. Um, she just need to be punished. You can hide for so long, but God be working behind the scenes, you know, true that it, um, she need to be arrested. That's all I'm, I ain't gonna say too much on it. Cause there's too much going on in these YouTube streets. People copywriting and flagging and reporting your channel and stuff. And it does. And it's, it's just crazy here lately. But like, I will say this, if Bill Cosby could be prosecuted and thrown in jail for crimes and allegations from years ago, surely they can arrest her. They, yeah, they can, they can, they can arrest her. So that's just my opinion. We're just going to see how this play out. We're going to see how this play out because Mylon, um, both of them had hardship after because didn't nobody want to work for them. Bryant and Curly owned that store. It closed down because didn't nobody want to work for them. So then they had to end up, um, closing the, yeah, they went bankrupt. They had to close the store down. Mylon owned what he did he own some crops he owned some land or something and you know he was he hired black people to work for him and you know paid them little or nothing but then you know what when, when did nobody want to work for him for Mr. for J.W. Mylon or whatever he had to hire white people had to pay them higher wages so he had to end up working in the machine shop and he ended up with poor health and he died of cancer they both died of cancer so it is what it is we do, I keep you updated on this because I don't think they're going to do nothing. I don't. Emmett would have been 81 years old if he was still living. And that's his grave right there in Chicago, Illinois. Like I said, I will just keep you updated. And I'm going to see how this played out. But it was a series, a movie series that came on Hula. It was uh, talking about Emmett's life. It was a very, very... Good series. The actress who played Mamie Till was Adrian Warren, and the the guy who played Emmett Till, his name was Cedric Joe. 
it was it's a must see. It will make you cry and everything. And I'm emotional anyway because I'm just sitting up in my living room just crying because I said, how can somebody do this 14-year-old child like this? But back then, back in them days, you know, we didn't have no say-so or nothing back in them days. And I thought, and back in Mississippi and Alabama and all that, them racist towns and stuff, I used to hear my grandpa you know, tell us stories because he had cousins that stayed in uh, Alabama. He had a cousin stay in Mississippi, and it was just bad back then. Um, this is the um, who, the movie. It's on Hula, Woman of the Moment, uh, Emmett Till story. Very, very good movie. It's a, it's a series. I think it's like six or seven parts to it. But it is a must-see. But I, I advise you to get your Kleenex and stuff because you're going to be crying. So, I will keep you updated on this story. Both killers is dead. They didn't um, hit hardship afterwards. And I don't feel sorry for them. Did nobody want to work for them and all that? Both of them died of cancer. J.W. Malum died December 30th, 1980. Uh, Carolyn's ex-husband, he died September the 1st, 1994 or whatever. So, um, we'll just see how it go. I doubt if they do anything. Um, Carolyn now living her best life. She enjoying her children and grandchildren, her family. But Emmett didn't have that chance to, you know, to grow up and be a man, and have a family. She cut all that, you know, cut yeah, that was cut short. And it was said allegedly, if you watch this movie right here on Hula, it was a white woman in the truck that drove her husband and um, brother-in-law over there to the house to drag Emmett out the house. It said it was Carolyn that was in the in, that was in the truck. That drove them over here. This was a younger picture of her. That's what it says. Say she was the one who drove that truck. So we will just see how this goes. But she does need to be arrested. Like I said, back in arrest Bill Cosby. Um, after wait years and years, they need to arrest her. And I don't know how she's living with herself. It got to be eating her up inside because a child lost their life because of you. And they sit there and beat. Beat that boy and shot him and throw him in the river like he was trash. All because you said that he whistled at you. And then after the trial, her husband and brother-in-law, they admit, you know, they did an interview to get four or five thousand dollars and admit, uh, they admitted killing him. But the only reason why they couldn't do nothing because it was double jeopardy, so they couldn't be, be retried again. So there's you have it. You can Google it. That just when I first heard about Emmett Till, I think I was in the eighth grade and junior high and i said this is just just is so heartbreaking and then when they showed his face and and stuff and you couldn't even tell who he was but at first i was again i said i don't know why she his mama did that because it would have been a closed cast but as i got older and i had one of my teachers explain it to me and stuff and now i see she want the world to know what they did to her child because after that they want him in the ground as soon as possible and so they didn't want no funeral or nothing. They she wanted they wanted him buried right there in Mississippi where it was at. And she took him back to Chicago. They were trying to do all that, but she did she did get that. She did get to take him back to Chicago. But they didn't want that. They want him in the ground because they knew it was gonna be chaos. They knew it was gonna be some shit. Excuse my language. So we'll just see how this um go. I'll keep you updated on it. It is a very, very sad situation. She even admitted on the witness stand that she was the only one there in the store. Um, I just, it's a lot I want to say, but like I said, just so much going on. People taking, trying to take people channels and flag you and stuff. Even if you do, if you don't like what I say, if you try to flag me, take me down. Oh, well, because I ain't monetized. A lot of these people on here is monetized and they, and they depend on you too. They depend on to get that check. They say, come on the 21st. I'm not monetized. So, do you know... Do what you do. It ain't going to hurt me not one bit. A lot of people will lot hurt a lot of people that's out here doing all this stuff, evil stuff on you on these YouTube streets and stuff because they monetize because that's what they depend on. That's why they go live in the 8, 9, 10 hours and stuff to get the YouTube check, to get them views, clout chasing, just to get them views. So, yes, that's Evan and his mom back in the day. And Miss Mamie was, you know, she was a pretty lady. Emmett had the prettiest eyes. He did, and the prettiest teeth. So, I'm going to keep you updated on this. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, 
No child deserved that kind of treatment. No child deserved that. Nobody, white, black, or whatever, didn't nobody deserve that and stuff. So we're going to see how this play out. But she do need to be punished. She do. She she need she need to spend the rest of her remaining days she got in jail. She do. So maybe it is eating her up. You never know. It got to be eating her up. Uh, I want to do every time when she lay down and go to sleep. Do she see Emmett's face? Do she see him? She should. Yeah. So they just need to come on down here in North Carolina and arrest and arrest her and let her face let her face charges. But I we go just gonna see how it do because I don't think they're gonna do nothing because. I just don't like I said I'm I'm not gonna say a whole lot on this topic and I'm gonna come back with some more videos and I hope everybody's having a good day because I am oh god it's going on one o'clock yes because I I had a very good day today earlier it's just just said it was just hot yeah and I said it before I don't like hot weather I don't I'm ready for it to get cold and that's the end of this video and I'm out.